Tucked into the southwest corner of the state is the picturesque farming community of Grays River. Home to a century-old covered bridge, the Deep River Lutheran Church, and Giants in the Trees. I don't know where it's coming from. The band features vocalist and banjo player Jillian Ray, guitarist Ray Prestigard, drummer Eric Friend, and Chris Novoselic, a bass player with one heavenly rock resume. Nirvana, the Northwest band that helped ignite a grunge explosion and became one of the most important and influential groups in history. With 100 million albums sold, it's also one of the biggest selling bands of all time. Chris Novoselic was there for the seven year roller coaster ride. So I get recognized by folks like, hey, weren't you the drummer? Is your name Dave? And I'm like, no, my name's Chris, and I was the bass player. What have I been doing since Nirvana, you ask? Is just like, I'm still in Nirvana, it seems like, which I'm eternally grateful for and I'm very proud of also. So that's just who I am and what I am. Since Nirvana ended with the death of Kurt Cobain in 1994, Chris has earned a college degree, been active in electoral reform and music legislation, and played with a number of bands. Novoselic met the members of his newest band, Giants in the Trees, through their involvement with the Skamokwe Grange. And then after the meeting, there'd be these jam sessions. There was like an open call for a jam session on Saturday, 11 a.m. or something like that. And, uh, and then we were just the only four people that showed up. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I first walked into the, the, the very first jam session, I walked straight up to Chris and was just like, it's an honor to meet you. Like, I'm so excited to, yeah. And a band is born. It's kind of like Americana music, but then there's kind of grunge, and so it's kind of heavy, but then it has some modern kind of sensibilities, and so that all kind of comes together, or try, we try to put it together, and, and that's what you get. What we try to do is to shine a spotlight on our favorite things about this place that we live. We're affected by the beauty of this place, and we want to reflect that back out through our music. I've been here for 25 years in Waukeken County, and so it just feels like home to me. It's quiet, there's fresh air, there's not a lot of traffic, so I just got to have a lot of elbow room. When he isn't in the trees, you might find Chris Novoselic in the air. Aviation is about science, it's about adventure, it's about beauty. I'm paraphrasing Charles Lindbergh. And on top of it, it's a great way to get around. And so that's how I got into aviation. I'm not like a thrill seeker pilot. I just kind of fly from point A to point B and I follow all the rules and just kind of sit back and take it all in. Hey. Everybody brings their own thing into the band and we get these songs coming. It seems like we work together really well. And, you know, we made this record, we're working on another record now. We just kind of go for what everybody's strength is and then we make this uh, unit comes out of it. I think the odds of finding all of these elements in a place as small as where we live is pretty unlikely. It's kind of a miracle that we all found each other. I like that harmonic thing you were doing, Ray. Do you remember that? Back it up a little bit. And I feel so lucky to be working with these guys. It's just a really incredibly creative environment. Yeah, I found my home here and 
We're creating some pretty cool stuff together. A new band, some kindred spirits, Eden in his backyard. Has Chris Novoselic found, dare we say it, the next big thing? You know, Just okay, so yes. is, the, is the next great uh -huh. thing gonna come out of Gray's River? <laughs> Well, it could come out of anywhere, so why not Gray's River?